Set 24 Sports with Mike Fenner. Welcome on in. It's time for sports. Both again and women and men were playing for PSAC basketball championships on Sunday. Let's start at the Haggerty Family Event Center on the men's side with Gannon in town. Third-ranked Golden Knights hosting the Cal Vulcans. They split in the regular season, but Gannon, the PSAC West champions. Donald Whitehead, Hickory grad there, part of the Cal team there. In the first for the Vulcans, it's Jermaine Hall Jr. with a three from out front. We're tied at 22 around the seven-minute mark. Late first, Derek Anderson off the bench. The rainbow gets it to go off the square. He had 11 points. Gannon trailed the Vulcans 36-35 at the break. But here comes Josh Omojafo. First, the pull-up jumper from the elbow. Then the drive and the bank. He had a team high 22 points, adding eight rebounds. Gannon on the fast break. How about Nigel Hutton to Derek James? Gets the roll. Hits the deck, no problem there. A little later, Omojafo to James in the corner. Rise and fire, count it, the triple. 46-39, Gannon on top, he had 17 points. Later, Zach Hobbs, great no-look dish to Lyle Tipton. Gannon goes up five on the sweet feed. Then Ernest Shelton finding Omojafo for the and one. And by the end of this one, the Gannon faithful were Chanting MVP and rightfully so. Omo Jaffo earning those MVP honors for the tournament. And the Golden Knights get to hoist the trophy as well. Capping off an historic turnaround. The Gannon men 3-23 a year ago. And they are 29-2. Still moving on as an NCAA tournament automatic bid winner. Gannon takes the PSAC men's basketball championship. 89-74. It's first PSAC title since 2015. The city has embraced these guys, you know, and I think, I do, I continue to say, I think there's a correlation between what this city is about um, and the history of the city is about and then the history of, of the university and, and what it's about. It's about, it's about hard work. It's about some grind and some grit. It's blue collar. It's tough. And that's kind of the way these guys are, and it's the way they play. Especially coming from last year, I mean, we were kind of the underdogs. Nobody really expected this. So, I mean, just to go from that to uh, conference champions, it just means a lot, not only for myself, but for the community as well. And I'm just grateful for that. It was just a, a turnaround. I had to knock down, knock down shots for my guys, and when I had, I had an open shot, I had to, you know, knock it down. As for the NCAA tournament, just minutes ago, the Gannon men finding out they will be the top seed. Well, not that part. They will be the top seed in the NCAA Atlantic Regional hosting Lincoln, PA. That's what they found out. Round one later this week. That's the 1-8 matchup. The 4-5 and five will also be in Erie West Liberty versus Millersville. Cal will host the other side of the split regional in a 2-7 with West Virginia State, while Charleston plays Concord as well. How about the women? Ranked fourth in the nation.